Well, when it comes to playing for the love of the game, one group in Temple is doing just that, creating new opportunities to continue to play the game they love. For Chris Glenn and Sammy Falak, playing soccer has always been a dream. So when the UPSL reached out about forming a new team in Bell County, they were all for it. They had asked me for a long time, put a team in Belton. And I was like, no, and I was attached to another team. But one day I was like, you know what, let's do it. I was actually deployed in Afghanistan when I got a phone call from this <laughs> gentleman right here going, hey, you want to start a soccer team? And I said, sure, let's do it. And we just started working and grinding from there. And the pair came together to form Bell County FC, a fourth tier semi-pro team based in Temple. Three years later, the group is still kicking it finishing the spring season just this weekend. I think there's a lot of quality in this market. We are in between. Yeah, we're near Fort Hood, which brings us soldiers as well. Um, so different players come in, as well as UMHBs here, college kids. Um, we, we get them from all over the place, from high school all the way up. The Upstart Club offers athletes one more chance to play the game they love. The UPSL is considered a developmental league in the American system, a place where bigger clubs can identify new, raw talent. Just being able to continue to play as long as I can, just like these guys, and give them that opportunity to develop. And UPSL, it's all about uh, pro development, trying to get them to that next level. So giving them that opportunity and those skill sets is just, you know, it's an amazing feeling. Honestly, as someone who doesn't even play anymore, this is the most rewarding thing I could do in this sport right now, giving them the opportunity I didn't have back in 2006, because this wasn't around when I was graduating high school and everything. The club plans to hold three separate tryouts this week, one Tuesday, one Thursday, and one Saturday, as they recruit the next batch of players ready to compete for the love of the game.